What's up y'all, Panic again. And today we're gonna be reviewing the Art Primo 4mm uh, aluminum body marker. And obviously we gotta be filling it with some Grog Street Killer Ink, <laughs> mandatory. This shit is amazing. As you can tell, I stained the fuck out of it already. <laughs> that shit's amazing though. Um, all right, yeah, let's fill this shit up. All right, so right before we start, um, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the marker uh, and the ink, obviously. Um, the marker is actually like $3 only, which is why I was like, fuck it, let me grab it. Uh, and it says it's really, really resistant to like kind of anything. And they mentioned like uh, Marsh and what was it, Garvey, I think it was. Um, so I said, fuck it, we're gonna toss them because <laughs> so I was uh, street killer ink on there. Um, they said the nibs are replaceable, but they don't have a uh, nib on their website specifically for uh, the aluminum body marker. But they do have, or they do sell, um, I think it's like the Molotov high speed flow uh, two pack replacement nibs for like $4. Um, they look identical to this. And then they sell another one that's just like the regular one, not the high flow one. Um, for also four dollars uh put the picture right here and then obviously the ink is like 15 bucks i didn't get an art primo because i don't have it there but i got it on a website called infamy art um if i remember i'll try to leave a link in the description for it um but yeah that's where i got that from um also this is a fucking tight fit. Uh, I sat here for like maybe 10, 20 minutes just like shoving this in. And I pushed it in like maybe twice. Like one and then pulled it out and then again another out. Um, just to be able to be able to do it smoothly. Because the first time I was pushing as hard as I fucking could with my hands and fingers and my whole body. And I could barely get it in. Um, so definitely recommend... Get it pushing this in and out getting it like down in there all the way and then pulling it out um before you fill it and try to do that because you're going to be struggling and get ink everywhere and make a fucking mess um so yeah try to do it at least like once or twice and it should be pretty easily from there you can see it slid down kind of easy and then pulling it out should be just as easy there you go um yeah definitely recommend doing that before you fill it because you're going to be spilling it trying to close that shit Okay. Now let's move on to filling it. There you go. Um, all right. The one thing I always mention is try to always use gloves when filling a marker, mop, whatever. Um, especially with something as toxic as this. Uh, you can see all the shit that's inside of it. Um, just cause you don't want shit on your hands and it's gonna be a fucking pain to get that off. Which, this is magic ink and I barely got it off, you can see. Um, the thing is, I just ran out of gloves, so we're gonna have to fucking raw dog it. Um, let's just pray that we don't spill anything, which is a joke because obviously you're gonna spill something. So let's try <laughs> our hardest. for this oh, actually first shake the fuck out of it all right that should be good enough Yes, sir. Um, we're actually only gonna fill about right here to one test the this marker out to make sure there's no leaks with this valve because I'm assuming this is that Molotov uh, speed flow nib, and then to make sure that this has a tight seal against the body. 
so we don't have any leaks there. And if it does, we don't waste the whole thing of ink. So yeah, only gonna fill like about halfway, or try to at least. Let's see what happens. Oh baby. Oh, fuck me. Yep. Alright, it's not too bad. Not too bad. Can't really see. Looks like it's still fucking full. Jesus Christ. Can't really see where it's at. So we're gonna judge it's about right here. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's take this off and get it cleaned up. I'm gonna have a fun time cleaning this off my hands later. Yeah, let's cap this first because we don't want to make a mess. So let's grab this and try to push it down. And that's still a little bit of a gap. Let's try to do it with the top on. Now let me, give me a second, let me try to get this cleaned up a little bit. Well, you can't really see the label as much anymore. <laughs> Let's finish pushing this down. At least with the lid this time so we can get a little bit of thumb pressure on top. We don't have too much of a gap. So let's see if we can get that done real quick. All right, my bad, y'all. We're back. Had to get things a little more cleaned up. As you can see, <laughs> didn't really do much. Uh, it's about where it's gonna be for a bit. Uh, this cleaned that up a little bit. Um, and this actually cleaned up pretty good. I'm sure you guys seen had a big ass uh, spill down the side. All right, yeah. So we're gonna be testing this on a bunch of different services. Uh, as you know, if you've seen my previous videos, which you should go ahead and go down, uh, click the page and just go watch the other ones. There's only like, two regular videos and then two unboxings on there and while you're down there hit sub you know what i'm talking about um yeah still yet to juice the nib so let's do that too all right bet we're gonna juice it really quick and for something like this i already know it's gonna be so thin um so make sure you have something under that piece of paper to collect kind of like that uh because this is going to go everywhere. So that's just a little bit. Oh my. Well, like I said. <laughs> I knew this was just going to pour fucking out. So I think I have that there. Cut all of it. Well, while we're here. Let's catch a quick tag. Mm. Okay, okay, not bad. Right, it's pretty, pretty thin. It is four millimeters. This is just because of how juiced it was. Uh, right, it's a decent size, though. Let's get one more. Okay, 
cake. God, I really do like it. It flows a little too fast that I prefer in this. Um, but you can see it's holding all of it. This is just from when I was pushing it down. Uh, it's not really leaking or anything here. As like, say this magic marker, which I've used the fucking life out of. As you can see how flat it is. Uh, what millimeter is this? It's only one and a half millimeters. You can see right there. Um, this, you can't really tell because it's black on black, but I can see a lot more in person. Around the rim, right along the nib, uh, it has a little bit of ink kind of flowing out, but that's just because the magic ink is also really thin. But don't notice it as much here yet, at least yet. I do like it though, especially with this ink. Let's move on to another surface. Okay, we're gonna try the. Street Killer Ink on glass again. The last time I tried it was in a Toxic Chalker. I'll try to put the link here. I don't remember which side it's on. I think it's around here. Uh, you can see in that video, the ink like kind of separated. It didn't really uh, hold together right. I think that might have just been. I think that might have just been because um, it was a little bit more of a mop style, and this is going to be a little bit more of a marker. But, I'm assuming this is alcohol ink, or like alcohol base, sorry. Um, so I think that's why it wasn't really grabbing onto the glass. Um, however, something like magic ink uh, is an oil-based ink, so I'm sure that will grab to the glass a lot better. But, we're going to try it, give it a little bit of redemption from last time. Let's see how it does. It looks like it did sort of grab onto it, but it's super, super thin. By now it would have, oh, it looks like it almost is. It was really, really separating by now uh, with the Toxic Shocker. But it looks like it's not really holding up also with this. Yeah. I doubt if we juice it more, it will grab on more. You can see on the paper, it's still, oh, sorry, you can't. You see on the paper, it still has a lot of uh, ink in the nib, just the glass. Dang, okay. Let's try the other one then. Okay, we also have this one, which is more of a, plasticer type but it's also a really clear material like the glass um but it just has a little bit more bite onto it at least on the surface so you'll be able to see the tag a lot better let's actually throw down the grog tag Yeah, it's about doing the same thing, not gonna lie. Oh shit. When I did the Toxic Jocker again, um, I'm gonna reference that a lot just because that's I use the same ink in that. Um, it really, really stuck to this. You could see it so much heavier. Um, but as you can see on this, it's not really grabbing as hard. This actually, I think, is the uh Montana Bold which I'm gonna be doing an update on this a full video update video on this um that is some really good ink in there um but yeah it's also really clear too like you can see right there maybe the paper you see better there you go it's like not really opaque really really clear 
We might just have to move on to probably one of my favorite surfaces, that metal. So this one's definitely going to be uh, a surface I'll grab onto more. As you can see, it's really scratched up. Um, but this is kind of going to be more of a test uh, of what you'll see outside in the real world. More like the electrical box, because maybe like a mailbox. Uh, or even like a stall. It's not really the same surface as a stall, but you can kind of see what it would be like on a smoother surface. Still really juiced. I'll try it out. Oh, yeah, it's a lot better on here. Whoa, actually. That was good for a second. I actually don't know what's happening right now. It's separated on the metal right there. All the kind of name, you can't really see it as much. Don't know what's going on there. Last time, the... Pretty sure the... Toxic Shocker was able to write on this. That's a lot better, at least. Right, let's try to grab another one. Let's do another... Uh, Grog. That's a little better. Let's try juicing the nib. Yeah, it still has so much ink in it. I don't think that really do any difference. <laughs> Let's try to catch one small one this way. Yeah. It's like really splattering. All right, you can see we've got a fat drop over there. Jesus, look at that. What the fuck? It's like some science over here right now. God damn. It's doing it on the whole thing. You can't see it as much on the camera. If I lift it, it'll just run down. Well, all right. Let's go ahead and set that to the back and move on, I guess. Wasn't really expecting that. Don't know what I was expecting, but just really not that, I guess. Let's catch a couple slaps. Just because. Why not, you know? Yeah, I'm definitely going to try fraying that edge, or that tip, sorry. Uh, see how much fatter we can get that nib. Definitely get, like, easily double the size of this. But now I'm also wondering, since there is that other uh, mall tall tip, uh, the regular nib, wonder if that will fix this problem. The fact that I just push it down and it just fucking gushes through. Like, it just flows through so fast. Obviously, it might be the speed flow nib, but I'm sure if I have the regular nib, it would fix that problem. All right, let's move to the thicker paper now. You can already see we kind of had a huge ink splatter. And it went through heavily. Everything kind of does. Jesus, every single one. Uh, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, I definitely like the way it writes. Don't know if it's really worth grabbing well. I'm not gonna lie. If I'm being 100% honest. I paid for this out of my pocket. Um, so, it's a genuine, genuine review right there. Genuine uh, critique, opinion, whatever you want to say. It writes like kind of any normal marker. Uh, the one thing I don't like about it, though, is anytime you want to fill it, it's not as easily refillable as, say, say even just this marker, which is basically the exact same thing. It's also a metal uh, body. Um, the nib is just smaller, obviously. Way smaller. Even with the frayed tip, it's like double the size. Um, but the advantage you get with this marker over this marker, uh, is the refill. Like I said, you are struggling not only to cap this shit, but to open it to refill it. Jesus. And this... Was that easy? And then fill it. It's a sponge in there, so... You don't gotta worry about anything leaking out. You just grab your ink, pop a couple drops in that hole, drop, uh, put a couple drops in this, put it in, and you're ready. It fucking works like magic. Yeah, that's what they call it a magic marker. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't remember how much this marker was. I'll put the price right here. Um,. This over this, a million times this, a million times. Um, this actually, now I think about it, I remember, didn't come by itself, it came in a pack. It was a, a Green Ranger pack, I think it was. Uh, it was this, um, some slaps, what was it, and I think like the AP bullet markers. Um, but... This over this, this was only $3, so I mean, you could easily replace it, but this is like such a better uh, bang for your buck. Another metal body. The Molto Bolt, or sorry, the Molto Bolt Marker. I'll put the price right here for this one. Once again, a million times over. The refill aspect is um, the exact same thing as what I just showed you right now. Just this a little tighter. Unscrew the tip. It's not a sponge, so be a little more wary about spilling it. It's actual liquid in there. Um, but yes, again, this a million times over this. I spent money so you didn't have to. Um, and now we know. Didn't see any reviews on this either. I looked up some reviews on it, and it was just an unboxing that I seen. Um, so, you're welcome, internet. Now you see what it's like. I definitely do want to try freeing that tip another time. Uh, seeing what we can get out of it. I know it's just going to be a lot fatter. I hope it will hold the ink a little more. Uh, hold it back. But that's just what's going to have to come with the test. For now, though, that's the end. Appreciate you guys watching. If you did like it, hit that like and subscribe. Uh, this was the 4mm nib aluminum body Art Primo marker. Filled in with some Grog Street Killer ink. Appreciate you guys watching. Peace.